Hi, I'm Rabbi Karen Kadar. Here we are, weeks away from the high holidays, in the beautiful month of Elul, a month that our tradition has given us a solid month to contemplate the quality of love that is in our life. Of course, to think about the relationships we have and absolutely check our conversation with the invisible. Do we have an active conversation with the holy power of the universe, with transcendent love? And of course, love of self. These days have been so incredibly difficult and finding that compassionate self-love, the love that connects us to our essential selves and also to the power that is in the world, that has been a practice and a little difficult. I'd like to offer this prayer for us to contemplate on this day. Make of me a vessel. I call upon the deep, the dark, the hovering spirit, the creation, the muse of the creative impulse. Make of me a vessel, ready to receive the loving stream from a transcendent good that it may course its way through my discerning mind and complicated heart and the purity of my soul, O oh, aspirational soul, so that I may be a force for good. For in the beginning, there was good. And this, our human destiny, to be created in the image of those earliest moments of divinity, when darkness danced in flowing circles with light and beauty cast a hue upon all things simple and complex, known and unknown, returning, always turning, the deep, the dark hovering spirit of God, of creation. I call upon you, creator of the universe. Make of me a vessel, a mere image of paradoxical beauty, of mystery, of oneness, of love, of love. Ani le dodi vidodi li, I am my beloved's, and my beloved is mine. This verse from Song of Songs is often recited at a wedding ceremony where two lovers are expressing their deepest desire for their world that they are creating together. Each one of the uh, letters of Anila Dodi Dodi Lee together create the word Elul, the name of the month of preparation leading into our Holy Day season. And oftentimes this idea of two lovers seeking one another out are compared to the relationship between Israel and God, between our uh, physical selves and our spiritual selves, and between all of the um, entities in which we are um, in relationship. And oftentimes uh, we can get off track. Our relationships become stale. We, we don't put the effort into them that we should. The month of Elul offers us the opportunity to evaluate these relationships, to find ways to reconnect again, to raise up the, the values and the commitments that we make to those of which we are in relationship. And so whether it is with our partners, our spouses, our parents, our children, our friends, or in our spiritual life between ourselves and the divine, this, these days ahead are the days that we can uh, use to find ways to recommit to the loving values that we have, to the acts that um, solidify our relationships for, for good, um, to find the things that are broken and to make repair in the best that we are able. And so as we look to the days ahead, may each one of us find ways to come closer, closer to ourselves, closer to the divine, closer to all with whom we are walking in relationship. May these days of Elul be purposeful and may each and every one of us be able to, with a full heart, say, Anila Dodi, Vidodi Lee.